What's up guys over of here. Today we're gonna be hunting for the potential airdrop of the SAY network. As usual before we begin a couple disclaimers. Nothing in this video is financial advice, always do your own research. The airdrop is not guaranteed, nor the steps that we do in this video will make us eligible to get any tokens even if the airdrop will happen. And lastly, all information in the video and description, including the links provided as is, so use them at your own risk. So what is SAY? SAY is an L1 and its primarily focus is on a speed of transactions. Seed round was in August of last year, they raised 5 million and then just several days ago uh, they went through another funding round and this time raised 30 million on a valuation of 800 million. As for the state of the network, we're currently on testnet that's called Atlantis 2. As far as I understand, it's supposed to be the last testnet, so we kinda already approaching mainnet. Even though when you look at the funding rounds, you can say it's pretty easy for the network, but it's moving pretty fast compared to some other projects, definitely. Obviously, since it's on a test net, we're not gonna spend any money here. It's also worth noting that uh, some of the activities that you may have seen previously, they are no longer available. Like even on the main site now, if you go and check the missions, for example, it will bring you to this page where submissions already are closed and it, actually the whole thing is attributed to say NAMI testnet that was live pretty long time ago. I think the whole thing concluded in October of last year. Uh, that also goes to some things that you can find here like treasure, for example, it's no longer claimable. I think it was claimable like three to four weeks ago. Yeah, so things like that. So anyways, uh, a lot of activities on testnet that are no longer available. And why might that be important? Because unlike other chains, they actually announced last year that 1% of the token will be allocated to the testnet participants. I mean, obviously we don't know how it's going to be distributed and whether or not uh, by testnet, they mean the whole testnet throughout the whole period of that or just the test net during that period when it was like, uh, I think it was this one, say NAMI. I would think that's probably for the whole test net, including Atlantis too. So uh, maybe for some activities that we do here, we'll get awarded a small, small portion in this case, obviously um, of that 1%. And since that announcement was like a long time ago in 2022, I think it was like eight months ago, it's completely possible that there are other allocations that they haven't announced yet. So we're gonna be aiming to just do what we can currently on a test net and also sort of familiarize ourselves with the same network because when the main net's gonna launch, we're obviously gonna do some activities there as well. So, okay, let's start with the wallets. Uh, what wallets do we need? Uh, I recommend using Kepler wallet uh, alongside with the Leap wallet. The Kepler, is gonna be our main wallet where we're gonna be uh, creating our say network address. As you can see, it has Chrome extension and Firefox extension. So what I suggest you to do is first install Kepler, create the wallet and then install Leap and then import your Kepler wallet into the Leap. This way you have the same address, but you can actually connect to the applications that require the Leap. Uh, with that the same uh, wallet. Once you've installed the Kepler wallet, uh, there's actually one more important step here because initially what it's gonna look like is gonna look like this. It's gonna say Cosmos Hub and you will not be able to find say Atlantic. So in order to add this network, we need to interact uh, with that dApp. I don't remember which one worked for me actually, but first try the main website, launch an app and then connect the wallet and see if it will suggest you to add the network. And the second possible dApp would be the Vortex. I think Vortex actually was the one, but again, I'm not sure. Like go to Vortex, connect your wallet, and if it's not on Say, it will suggest you to add a Say network into the wallet. After that, we can continue what we're doing here because you will get your Say wallet address. The next step I would suggest straight away is to join the social media. The Discord is a must for two reasons, because A, we're gonna use the faucet there, 
and B, we're gonna put some of our feedback after testing there. Obviously on the Discord, you will have to pass verification. That's pretty standard on pretty much all, all servers nowadays. Once you've done that, go to Atlantis 2 Faucet channel. And here we're actually gonna claim one say token for our wallet. For that, you need to type exclamation mark faucet and your wallet address. Be sure to check that the, the bot actually responded to you. Because yesterday when I did it, it took me three attempts for some reason, bot was just like ignoring me. Be sure to see the message like this, where it's tagging you and says token successfully received. This particular faucet you can only use once, just once, but unlike faucet on the main side that gives you 0.1, say it gives you the whole one say. So that's the first of our faucets, but we're not gonna claim uh, the rest right away because what we need to do, we need to complete the quest. The quest is on block CC. For this quest, again, you're gonna need uh, your leap wallet. So let's go through the missions. I have to connect leap here. And now it says in the application, connect your Leap wallet and request the SNAT tokens from the faucet page by filling in your wallet address and confirming with CAPTCHA. I actually did it less than 24 hours ago, so I'm not sure whether or not I will be able to do that, but let's see. Because uh, first of all, I did it with my Kepler, but it has the same wallet address. Now let's try with the Leap. We need to approve. I'll try autofill. So this is the same wallet address. Let me see. This will go through. Pass the capture. Yeah, it says user is not eligible to use this faucet until um, until this time. But I assume I'll be automatically eligible because I already claimed it. Then you need to follow, say, on Twitter. Uh, follow blocked on Twitter. What else? Liked and retweet the announcement. Uh, the announcement tweet. Pretty easy. Retweet. And then you need to share your Twitter handle to get extra rewards. I mean, that's really up to you whether or not to do it. I don't think this step is mandatory. I'm going to submit it anyway. You also need to join blocked discord. And I assume you have to pass verification as well. Okay, it took me one minute to verify. Now you just need to log in with the discord. Okay, we passed the first testnet mission. And then we go to mission two. It says before participating, make sure your leap wallet is installed. Go claim go claim in the faucet if you haven't done so we just did it it's checking the token balance it looks like it's just check for token balance and uh, and automatically assumes that if your balance is over like 0.1 threshold then you already used the faucet so here as you can see i already got 400 usd so i can pretty much pass but what you need to do you need to follow this link and this is, uh, there is a faucet on a Sparrow Swap XYZ. It doesn't matter which uh, which wallet you connect because it's if you did it the same way I did it, you have uh, one address. So in my case, I was connecting Kepler. Uh, we can connect Leap, doesn't matter really. Then you click I'm not a robot. And then you click request and be sure that this message is not loading and it's loaded. Otherwise you have to maybe re-request. So requesting in, in general transactions on say are very fast. It's like on average, I think around 10 seconds on the test net. Yeah. So it seems like I cannot, I cannot get any more of these because I already used it four times today, but anyway, you shouldn't have any problems. Okay. Going back to the mission, we click next. Let's now head to Eclipse pad website, enter the launch pad and open the Manji Finance uh, project token sale. Okay, we go in there and here we go to the launch pad. Again, we connect the wallet. As you can see, there is no leap here. You can only use Kepler. Guys, it's me from the future. I made one mistake during that video. 
So when you performing any transactions with the Kepler wallet, be sure here to click low fee, because as you can see, the difference between low and average is humongous. And if you keep it on average, like I did for the majority of transactions, it will eat up your say token very fast. So just keep it on the low. It won't really slow down transactions. Transactions are very fast. Okay, back to the video. And if you can see next to your wallet, there's also a faucet. Now what this fa faucet does, it gives you uh, a thousand, a thousand uh, a clip, test a clip tokens that you can also play around with. So I would suggest to click this faucet once as well. Uh, the only difference, you have to pay gas on it. You have to pay gas, but you can also swap these tokens for say as well. It's not much. I think it's like 0 0.04 say token for a thousand of a clip, but nevertheless. Okay, moving on. We need to go to Jumanji, but it doesn't say we need to purchase anything. Click on buy Manji and use 50 test USDC you have acquired to complete the purchase. If you fail, try to change the gas. Okay. So we click buy Manji, put maximum USDC, which is 50, and we're buying 1250 Manji. Okay, buy success. Really, really fast transactions. Click in next. Now you will see a new position in the dashboard. There is a dashboard here, apparently. Dashboard, yes. Next. And then again, same as in step one, you need to follow Discord and Twitter and also retweet. I, I assume it's the same tweet. Yeah, it's the same tweet, so you don't have to do it again. And again, provide the Twitter handle if you want. Great job. And now we're up to a step three, which would be interacting with the Sparrow exchange. Okay, making sure Leap Wallet is connected. Save faucet on the main site, already used it. Go next, it's checking our balance. Going further, head to the testnet Sparrow swap, connect your wallet. I'm gonna collect connect as Kepler. Okay, something went wrong. Is this, okay, I see what went wrong. I'm on the wrong network. Be sure that your network is say Atlantic. Then we need to swap to RAM. How much? We need at least one RAM. So we can swap. Oh God, these fields are horrible. They need to change this. I'm going to swap. Okay, point 0.1. No, point 0.1. Point 0.1 save for 755 RAM. Approve. Now we wait. Swap successful. Now we should be able to check. Yay, we can go next. Stake your claim. Put more than 0.1 say in Sparrow Swaps say RAM pool. Okay. Okay, we need to stake. I'm going to stake. This is more than 0.1. I'm, I'm going to do 0.15 stake approve and we can also stake RAM here. I will do like two. Okay. For this, we need to follow the exchange on Twitter as well. Follow. Then go back, provide your Twitter handle. We already did this. So just submit. Great job. And we actually opened mission four now. Okay. I had a weird bug now. Uh, if you can't, if you click on this it, and it gives you uh, test mission three, just update the page. We're requiring you to farm for RAM and use Leap Wallet. Leap Wallet is connected, checking our balance. 
is checking the USDC. So I think it will suggest, okay, ensure I have provided liquidity to say RAM and say and say USD, so both. If you haven't navigated in the pool tab, all right. So we need to go to pool and provide liquidity to say RAM. We need to approve. Yeah, make sure that you're connected with the leap here, not the Kepler. I don't know if that's detectable or not, but nevertheless, the quest says connect with the leap. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. And next one, we need to provide liquidity into say USD, USDC, going back to quest page. As you can see, um, it says that LP tokens uh, on our address and the other LP tokens as well. So we can move on. Venture to farm tab, say RAM LP, say use the LP tokens and farming pool to reap the rewards, your hard earned loot. So we need to go to farm and then you have your stake, your LPs, provide maximum amount. Okay. We need to stake here as well. Approve. Now the question is, what they're not checking anything. They just, they just telling us to stake it. Say blocked. Well, we, we followed everybody on Twitter already. Great job. We passed the mission four. Now all missions are completed here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the discord in the channel Atlantis events. And here you need to post your screenshots with your wallet. So basically like this guy did, for example, as you can see, we're posting um, the screenshot from the missions. We're posting the screenshot from Eclipse pad and we're posting, uh, well, he's posting pools and farms and stakes. I'll just post two screenshots, one from the stake and one from the farm, because you cannot farm without pulling, obviously. So that meant you also pull tokens. And the last but not least, what we need to do here is we need to stake, I'll say, go on the main uh, website, connect the wallet. And here you can see staking. You can choose any validator that you want. You click stake. Uh, input the amount of say that you would like to delegate. You click delegate, sign again, click low, approve. And that, there you're done. And then you can check it in your delegations. And one last thing I almost forgot, you can go and play with the Vortex app as well. You just need to connect your wallet, then you click deposit and then you uh, put the amount of USD2 that you want. Sometimes transactions fail. I don't know if there is any limit. I already acquired it. I think seven USD2. It won't uh, let me now to get any more here. But once you get it, uh, once you deposit it, quote unquote, you can try to by I assume Adam with UST2. I don't know, the whole thing is not very intuitive, but we'll try, confirm the buy, approve. Well, okay, apparently we bought some test Adam. I don't know, if you look at the order book, as you can see, it's like ridiculous because the spread is between 0 0.04 and one. I mean, I mean, it's test net, what are we gonna do? that somehow also registers as a transaction. So you can do that as well. Anyway, there is currently not much else to explore. If we go to the ecosystem, you can see a lot, a lot, a lot of projects here, but obviously 99% of those then are really functional. Now on say, we're gonna wait. Hopefully they will be functioning on testnet, like closer to the mainnet launch. So we can do some additional steps before the mainnet launch. But either way, I'm going to keep an eye on the project and like some announcements or maybe some other quests uh, or tasks that we can do. If you found video helpful, please drop a like, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.